year around this time I listed my favorite strong bad emails and this year I thought I'd return to the Homestar Runiverse but I decided to go a little more festive with it so this year I am counting down my favorite Homestar Runner holiday cartoons and I don't just mean December ween I'm opening this up to any holiday so grab a mug of hot Jones and let's begin first off a few honorable mentions the house that gave sucky treats and Halloween potion majig I'm not including these on the list proper because they're kind of more games than tunes and my favorite bits in them aren't bits that the player is guaranteed to experience, but they're both worth playing through several times just to make sure you see all the outcomes. Number 14. Sinorial Day. Much of the world of Homestar is life seen through the eyes of childhood nostalgia, and the one thing children know about Memorial Day is lots of commercials for sales on grown-up things that we don't understand. And who better to embody barely understood grown-up stuff than Senor Card Gage? Card Gage was a character I didn't care for when he first appeared, but by his third or so appearance, he had pretty much become one of my favorite characters in all of fiction. And his tenuous relationship with the already tenuous reality of Free Country USA is perfect for commercials like this. Of course, if anyone else is throwing a sail around here, you know Bubs has to compete, aided here by Homestar. And another Homestar. But it'll be tough to compete against Card Gage, who puts Tommy Wiseau to shame with his football skills. Number 13, Pumpkin Carbnival. Homestar and the Cheat judge the town pumpkin carving contest, and their standards of judging seem to be arbitrary at best. Cartoons like this serve as a chance to showcase the characters one by one, both showing off their Halloween costumes for the year, and their reaction to the really quite simple task laid out before them. And Homestar's snap judgments rank among some of the best Homestar quotes. Nah oh man, I'm down. Down with second to last place. Ding. You get most improved. Ding! You've set a new standard for last place. You don't get it, Ding. And I'll sell with you. Or they would if it was really Homestar saying them. Number 12. Fall Float Parade. Marzipan and Coach Z announced Free Country USA's Thanksgiving Parade, a tradition that is now 40 T years old. And all the other characters showcase their floats. Yes, it's another here are all the characters and their entries in this contest sort of short, but it packs about as many laughs into that formula as it possibly can. And the floats aren't just self-contained jokes, some of them have consequences that affect other parts of the parade. And there's even some Easter egg aftermath. Well, follow me home! Uh, yeah, that's not true. Number 11. I Killed Pom Pom. Homestar discovers his secret repressed murderous side as he thinks a deflated balloon is Pom Pom's dead body. Strong Bad uses the opportunity to mess with Homestar as he sends him all over town to try and cover up his ghastly crime. This was the first full Halloween cartoon in half a decade, and man, was it worth the wait. We've seen Homestar briefly be diabolical before, but now we get to see him in a panic as he gets more and more evil to cover up the evil he never actually did in the first place. And the tune gets quite a few bonus points for what is probably my favorite costume lineup. Homestar as Tobias, Marzipan as Servo, Pom Pom as King Size Homer, The Cheat as Spaceman Spiff, Two Brothers Strong as two Doug Jones characters? Man, Halloween in Free Country USA is fun. Oh, it's a good time for large-headed monstrosities. Oh, to sell you cheeseburgers. Hey, strong band tonight. Ha! Number 10. 
the best Decemberween ever. In a familiar Christmas special story, Homestar wants Strongbad to like him and thinks the solution is finding the perfect present. He seeks advice from all the other characters before rooting through Bubs' bargain bin for the perfect gift. And he completely fails, but he is absolutely convinced that he succeeded, which is all that matters. Then we get a very descriptive sing-along. This is the holiday special that most resembles a traditional television holiday special, but with that Brothers Chaps magic to deconstruct the resolution and provide some other spices throughout. This is the worst this December weed ever. This is the best ever. December weed ever. Number 9. Malloween Commercial. Ah, it's about time the creepiest character on the entire site got his own Halloween short. Sorry, must have got a toenail caught in my throat. A parody of holiday-themed snacks that are no different than the rest of the year snacks, this is just the straight-up perfect outlet for Marshy's brand of horror, and Homestar gets to once again show off his acting and a marshmallow commercial skills. And his knowledge of the sound eyeballs make. See, see. Number 8. Seriously Force. This April Fool's Day sees the new, revamped for the 90s Homestar Runner theme song. It's short, but it's a fine example of the Brothers Chap's ability to oh so accurately parody the essence of not only specific pieces of pop culture, but larger trends in pop culture. Nobody asked for these new demographics, but I think we all appreciate them. Everybody, everybody right now, seriously Force. Number 7. Happy Hollow Day. It's Halloween night, but the night itself has gone missing, and the whole gang is desperate to find it. Homestar, you are aware that Halloween night is not a puppy, aren't you? Yes. Obviously, I am aware that it is not. What was that last part? A puppy? A puppy. It's a central conflict that revels in how little sense it makes, and it allows all of the citizens of Free Country USA to work together for a common goal. But in their own conflicting ways. Hope Star Wardle, you are a genius. Thank you, Doug. And with plenty of room for silly distractions. You wanna stop in here and get a kielbasa, Grandma? Number 6. A Decemberween Mackerel. When Marzipan brings a disgruntled Homestar along to help out the less fortunate Senor Card Gage, she's devastated to discover that the creepy old man claims to be dying, and does everything in her power to save his life. This was the first new Homestar cartoon in what at the time seemed like an eternity. Ah, how naive we were. Another great showcase for Senor Card Gage, and a chance for Homestar to show off his petty side. And we finally get an oh-so-appetizing sounding follow-up beverage to Hot Jones. Oh dear God, what have we done? Number 5. The House That Gave Sucky Tricks. As of this video, the most recent Halloween cartoon. Despite its callback title, this isn't another game, it's more like a... Strong bad email without the email. But hey, nothing wrong with that. When Homestar is apparently too busy raising Arizona to put together a good haunted house, Strong Bad lists all the cool stuff his haunted house would have. But even in his own fantasy, the house starts to backfire. That's the freaking poop! I sure hope they sell large bean plush dolls in the museum gift shop. I think you might be pleasantly surprised, young Scalo. It's a standard formula for a Strong Bad cartoon, but some things are standard because they just work. And it has quite a few quotes that have already entered my regular lexicon. Gary Shoes! Why is he wearing cycling gear? He's not even that serious about riding! Strong Bad, you know those words in that sequence are illegal. Oh my sweet Jennifer, there's no coming back from this one. Everybody. 
Number 4. A Death-Defying December Ween. While Strongbat is on parole, Homestar announces his plan to sled down the steep deep, which everyone is convinced is unsurvivable. Strongbat becomes suspicious of Homestar's stunt and tries to sabotage it. I'm not very good at speed change. This ends up being one of the few times Homestar himself is genuinely diabolical, even if his plan ends up being thwarted by Strongbat's attempt to be diabolical. And I'll admit it, I'm just a sucker for cheesy holiday specials and fake living room sets. Well, hey, Homestar, you didn't tell me you were having a holiday special over tonight. <laughs> Number three, under construction. On April Fool's Day, it appears that HomestarRunner.com has been bought out by a domain squatter and the new site is perpetually under construction. Until Stinko Man comes in to put a stop to Stickly Man's eternal digging. This was a wonderful thing to log on to on April Fool's Day and it forever provided the definitive way of announcing that you're taking a break. We deserve a break! Eating pudding with a spoon! Number 2. Three times Halloween fun job. Everybody in town has their own Halloween plans. Bubs coached the Pom Pom trick or treat as Homestar is convinced he'll get a million pounds of candy. Strong Bad, Strong Mad and the Cheat go on a pranking spree as the King of Town tries to tag along. And Strong Sad helps Marzipan hold a seance to contact her dead plant. There's not really a central premise here, it's basically a really great Homestar Runner sitcom episode. A chance for purely character driven humor to shine. Let me in! Da, da, da. Let me in! Hey, you're not a dead ficus plant. You're so smart. And the goblin shows up dressed as a Santa man. Yay! And my number one favorite Homestar Runner holiday cartoon, Homestar Presents Presents. Homestar realizes too late that he has yet to buy anyone their Decemberween presents, and he rushes to do so in the very little time he has left. The tune starts off on the right foot by showing just how disastrously Homestar's Decemberween starts off on the wrong foot, and then we have, yes, another Homestar looking for a present cartoon, but in this case it's more about the ticking clock than the gift decision. Besides, this one has a Homestar cameo. He's ringing a paintbrush! Successfully! He's not just trying to ring a paintbrush, the paintbrush is actually making bell sounds! I think Homsar might have dark powers that we're just not ready to know about yet. You're a real state trooper! This one also gives us our most complete look yet into just how depressing Coach Z's life really is. No, I'm not alone! Yes, this phone is plugged in! Oh, crackles. I forgot to pay my bills again this year. And there you have it, my favorite home Starla Day specials. I hope you and yours have a happy new year and a happy every holiday between then and next December ween. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off.